Hello again, how is it going? It is Fake Hero coming at you with another card reveal. Before we jump into it and get into this new keyword, by the way, I want to add over the past two weeks, it's been an absolute pleasure being able to share these card reveals with, with you guys. Uh, you guys have been showing a ton of support, lots of new faces, lots of people just as excited as I am over these new cards. And yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, we're getting really close to the expansion now. And from this point forward, what's going to happen is cards are going to be starting to get revealed by content creators, streamers, personalities, you know, all the cool people are going to be actually sharing cards, which is really cool. Unfortunately, not me, maybe next time. But you know, um, from this point forward, keep your eyes out. Cards going to be popping up left, right and center. But yeah, you may see me again. I might find a batch of cards to reveal. But for now, we're going to talk about the new keyword, which is going to be Invoke. Invoke states pick a celestial card from among three to create in hand. Now, we have no celestial cards here to share with you guys right now. This is the first set of cards to be revealed by content creators. But we have the cards here that have the keyword on them. So let's go through them. So the first card we're going to see is going to be Targon's Allegiance card, the Mountain Scryer. 4 mana 2 3 your celestial cards cost one less allegiance invoke so as you can already see 4 mana 2 3 allegiance invoke i'm led to believe at this point that the celestial cards are going to be quite powerful units hence why the sacrifice of playing this as you can see you actually have to allegiance this card to get that evoke makes me believe the uh, Celestial cards are going to be extremely powerful cards from various price ranges too. Now, I'm not sure if all the Celestial cards are going to be like just kind of vanilla units that have different stat lines or if they have very powerful, unique effects on each cost. But as you see, as we start to progress through the cards, for example, Spacey Sketcher, 1 mana 1-1 one, one from Targon Play, discard a card to invoke a Celestial card that costs 3 or less. That already tells me there's going to be multiple price Celestial cards, so keep your eyes out. And I think they're all going to be quite cool cards. I look forward to it. This effect reminds me very, uh, very much to Discover and Hearthstone. Discover was a little bit toxic in Hearthstone. I don't mind it too much. Like there was some discovery effects that were okay. This is very resemblant to it, but it's a, it's a lot more specific of a Discover. It's not like we're going through this huge card pool of cards. We're discovering from these Celestial cards, which are all going to be quite powerful. So just being able to invoke in general is just a powerful thing. There's probably going to be scenarios where you, you invoke and you don't find the unit you're hoping for and you'll feel bad about it. But hopefully it doesn't impact, uh, you know, the matchup too much, right? Anyway, 3 mana 2-1 Lunari Priestess Nightfall Invoke. So as you can see, similar trend, these kind of understated units that have the powerful invoke ability. 3 mana 1-2 from Targon, Daybreak, Invoke a Celestial card that costs 4, 5 or 6. So as we can see already, there's going to be a lot of different price ranges for the Celestial cards. I'm not sure how many there's going to be. It might even be the fact that it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. I'm not sure if it's going to go higher than that. But for now, we can see this one's going to guarantee you finding between those three. So you're always going to actually get that choice between the same three cards with this card so that this that makes this invocability very fucking consistent right you're always going to hit those three units and you're going to choose the one that you want so i really like how they nailed this discover invoke ability on this card not everyone's the same but yeah i think that's really amazing pretty excited now we have the moon dreamer five minute three five play invoke this one's a lot more broad you're going to get more choices kind of weaker stat line but not as worse as some of the others and then we have behold the infinite two mana burst speed spell to invoke just to repeat guys it's been a pleasure um i don't know what else to say other than thank you and um yeah you'll be sure to see me around if you are new here consider subscribing good luck on ladder